Sylvester Clark was a right arm fast bowler with a strange in swinging action in which his arm came over rapidly and very high. Despite the fact that the batsman saw the chest instead of the left shoulder in the delivery stride, genial of the field, Sylvester was a man to have on your side. Very fast and hostile when fit and firing, he played a prominent part in Sodas' first success in a county competition for several years in the Benson and Hedges Cup in 1982. Sylvester Clark was born in Barbados on December 11, 1954. Clark first played for Barbados in 1977-78 and engaged Trinidad that season his 6 for 39 in an inning including a hat trick. In his first test against Australia in 1977-78, he took 3 for 58 and 3 for 83 and only injury prevented him from playing for the games in the series. In India in 1978-79, he healed up the test average with 21 wickets in just 33.85 and he made further tours of Pakistan in 1980-81 and Australia in 1981-82. He was extremely well in Pakistan, taking 14 wickets, just 17.28 apiece in four tests and hitting an important 35 not out in 30 balls with three consecutive shifts as Faisalabad. But he seriously blotted his copybook when furious at being pelted by orange and other missiles when fielding on the boundary during the last test in Multan. He picked up a brick being used as a boundary marker and hurled it into on the stands and a spectator hit by it was taken to hospital seriously injured fortunately for clock he recovered and the bowler normally a genial man escaped with a short suspension by the west indies cricket board an unshamed hitter as a best man he made a rapid 100 not out for sorry against kilmorgan in 1981 in the 1982 season he took 85 wickets just 19.95 apiece but the following winter he burned the boards of his career for west indies signing to play for transfer and for the unofficial West Indies team in South Africa. He was an outstanding success, equaling a career cup record with 58 wickets. But a serious back injury prevented his reappearance for Surrey in 1985. He recovered and continued to bowl with great success for Surrey and Transvaal. His career ended in 1989 and 90. Sylvester Clark played only 11 tests for the West Indies, taking 42 wickets and an average of 27.83, with best figure of 5 for 126 against India at Barbados. in 1978-79 he also captured three hat tricks for barbados in the regional shell shield competition so speaking about his test career clark once said he felt he did not get the break he deserved in the west indies team i don't think so i was fairly treated by west indies selectors i got the most wicket in india and they picked malcolm marshall for the next tour to australia all i want to do is playing cricket he said in south africa clark also represent northern transvaal and orange free state in the first class competition there his career best bowling figures were 8 for 62 against northamptonshire at oval in 1987 his record in all first class cricket was a fair indication of his qualities in 238 matches he picked up 942 wicket cost him only 19.52 runs each as a batsman he scored 3269 runs average for 14.79 and while fielding held 146 catches clark also appeared in 10 one days in national for west indies from 1978 to 1982 taking 13 cheap wickets at just 18.8 runs apiece and conceding a mere 2.80 runs per over his best figures were 3 for 22 against australia at melbourne in 1981-82 and highest scores 20 against pakistan at lahore in 1980-81 a carpenter by trade sylvester clark was still an active club player at the time of his death in his list a career he has taken 364 wickets in just 250 matches and his best bowling figures in this test cricket 6 for 31 unluckily sylvester clark could not survive too much in the life and he passed away in just 44 years sylvester clark died in christ church barbados in just 44 years so he was a great loss for west indies